What is up my veggies? My name is VTR and welcome back to another movie review and I've been putting this review off for so long I don't know why but I um this is a review for Frozen 2 you're probably wondering why it took so long to get the review I don't know I was gonna review it the day after I saw it but I didn't uh, and it's just been on my mind like review the movie dude and it just took me forever to actually get around to reviewing this movie but now that I'm actually reviewing it I'm ready to review it uh, wait what <laughs> Um, so, I have um, not mixed feelings about Frozen 2, but I do have a bunch of thoughts about Frozen 2. So, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I'm not going to give away any spoilers. I don't, at least, not going to try not to. Um, I'm going to come out straight and say it. It's not as good as the first, but that's kind of expected. Because how are you going to follow a big cash cow like Frozen even though there's a lot in this I enjoyed more than the first one, but overall, I think I had more enjoyment out of this first one than this one, because I saw the first one like three times in theaters, and I don't tell you how many times I've seen it since then. And like, for in advance, I did watch the first one on Disney+. Plus. I did watch um, the first one to prepare. Uh, in retrospect, I probably should have watched the uh, two Frozen shorts as well, again as well, but I didn't, but whatever. Um, but there's something about this movie that really didn't, that, did, that sat well with me, but at the same time, there was some stuff that didn't sit well with me. Um, now, some people say about this movie that, uh, let's go with the story, let's go with the the story was pretty decent. It does feel like a plot, se uh, a sequel plot. I'm so it does. It just feels like a sequel plot. I can't lie. It does feel pretty generic, um, which isn't a bad thing. It's just it felt generic to me. Now, even though it felt generic, doesn't mean it was enjoyable. There was a lot of great moments in the film, and what they do with the story, it does. Go go a little predictable there's also some stuff that's not predictable but it's pretty predictable for the most part but not that predictable you know what I mean so with that being said let's get into the characters obviously we got all the returning characters in the first film at least mostly With so you've got Anna, Elsa, Olaf, Sven and Kristoff now honestly we do get Anna and Elsa get plenty of screen time. But uh, Olaf gets a fair decent amount of screen time. But one a lot of problem some people have with the movie what was um sorry was Kristoff's story. The storyline. Which personally I didn't have a problem with. Um he did feel like it was shoehorned in. And I do see how people see that. And plus, Kristoff's song, and this was one of my favorites. We'll get into the music here in a minute. I have the hiccups. Um, but there's a lot to uh, unpack with this movie. And just a lot that happens within it really was interesting with the characters. Uh, there was a bunch of rumors going around about Elsa and everything getting a love interest which I said I thought was a bad idea if that happened because it would ruin her entire character from, from the first movie and she didn't get a love interest which was really really happy that's a little bit of a spoiler there I guess but that was a relief for me so that I already gave the movie to five points in my eyes because I really 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 didn't want that because it was would have been such a bad idea on the filmmakers part because I wouldn't have sat through that. Not, I wouldn't have walked out satisfied that happened. Now, the animation. The animation... Well, let me get to the, the new characters. The new characters, they add a little bit, not much. That's all I can really say. Um, the animation, 
pretty darn good. I cannot lie, the animation of Frozen 2, obviously there's been a few more years since the first one. You can tell the advancements like with the hair and just overall textures. This movie has a autumn vibe to it when the first one had winter. Yeah, there's snow in this movie at some points on uh, ice. Um, but, and even Olaf for some reason looks very like crystally looking for some reason. I felt like that was kind of a reference to maybe the Broadway show with how he looks a lot more crystally in the Broadway sh show. I couldn't help but draw that connection. Um, but a lot of the lab with the animation just looks absolutely beautiful in this movie. I can't, and so like the water, I feel like they may have used a similar engine or the, maybe the same engine they used for uh, Moana, maybe, for this movie because the water looks really great. Um, and just, the, the animation is fantastic, I can't lie. Now the music, I'm going to go ahead and state this, none of these songs will reach Let It Go status. Into the Unknown will get fairly close, but none of them will reach Let It Go st status. I have the hiccups. <laughs> but reg regardless, there really wasn't really any songs I didn't like. Sure, we get a reprise of Reindeers Are Better Than People from the first movie, which is pointless, but um, but the songs really aren't hateable. Olaf does a song that I'm not really into in this movie, because like, it's nowhere near comparable to Summer from the first movie. Um, Into the Unknown is so good. Lost in the Woods is my favorite song from the movie. Kristoff's song, it is my favorite song fr from the movie. Um, Show Yourself is really good too. Every, almost every song from this movie I did really enjoy. Um, let's get into talking about the comedy. Who the comedy? Well, honestly, if you didn't like, oh, didn't think Olaf was funny in the first one, you're definitely not gonna like him in this. Now, Olaf gave me a few chuckles here and there, um, and I liked that. He had some funny, fun jokes and everything. <laughs> And some of the other jokes that were in this movie, they worked. They weren't really jaw-dropping hilarious. There was some mo moments I was like, ha-ha, that's funny, I like that, it's a good joke. But, was it though? That's how I feel with watching this movie at some points with the jokes. There's one joke in the movie I really, really didn't like. I won't, won't give it away because maybe you'll think it's funny. But there was one joke in the movie that I really didn't like. Now, there is one that had me cracking up. Uh, basically, basically, it just explains the whole first movie again. And the comedy's decent. It's nothing... Now, if you didn't see the, Frozen, the first movie, don't worry, this movie got you covered. It restates the plot like four or five times. I may be exaggerating, but it, re it restates the plot multiple times. Uh, let's talk about the emotion. I don't usually talk about this, but I did like, get a little more emotional with this one than I did in the first one. Won't lie. Maybe it's because now I actually know these characters <laughs> and have more of an attachment to these characters. Uh, and yeah. Uh, so after the credits, there is a pretty interesting after credit scene. Uh, so if you haven't seen this movie yet, which I'm pretty sure it's still playing in theaters as of recording. Uh, yeah, but the movie, I have to give the rating a four out of five. I'll give them a four out of five rating. It was pretty good. Uh, not as good as the first, but I had my fun with the film. These hiccups are going to make me mad. Um... But yeah, it was such an interesting film, and I really, really enjoyed it. It was fun, and there's nothing really to hate about it. So if you hated anything from this movie, it sucks to be you. Um, 
But yeah, if you've seen Frozen 2, let me know what you guys thought of it down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!